We'll call to order this the Monday, July 22nd, 2024 meeting of the Ellsville Town Council. Uh, begin with the prayer, Marshall. All right, I'm calling you before you once again. I mean, thank you so much again for the benefits we have here at this town, the blessings you've given us. Just ask you to be with us tonight in this important meeting, our second meeting tonight, to make the right decisions that will affect the whole, the count, the whole town and the employees. That's these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance, Chief. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whenever you're ready, roll call, please. Here. 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 Uh, move now to approval of the minutes for the regular meeting on July 8th, 2024. So moved. Is there a second? Second. A motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Accounts, account, I'm sorry, action to pay accounts payable vouchers and payroll. So moved. Second. Motion second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Uh, we'll move now to open bids for Ellisville Heritage Center construction. Before we do that, could I ask the council please to table the hearing on the unified development ordinance and the zone maps because we did put an ad in the paper or public notice in the paper stating that this would likely be, those issues would likely be heard at this meeting after the plan commission certification. Of course. Is there said motion? I'll make a motion to table hearing on the adoption of a unified development ordinance and zoning map. Second. Motion is second. Roll call, please. Scott Oldham? Yes. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. <sighs> motion passes. The council, however, will be conducting a public hearing and consider the adoption of the UDO or the unified development ordinance and the zone maps at our next regular scheduled council meeting, which is Monday, August the 12th, 2024 in this room at 6.30 p.m. Um, this is an original zoning ordinance. Uh, anything, anyone having written objections to the proposal filed at or before the hearing will be heard, and a public hearing may be continued from time to time as may be found necessary. Thank you. Sorry to be so picky about the language, but the statute requires that. No problem. Okay, so the first bid, or the first, yes, the first bid for the Heritage Community Center is value-built construction. The total bid is three hundred ninety-eight thousand seven hundred dollars. Three hundred ninety-eight thousand seven hundred. The second bid is from Building Associates Inc. Four hundred twenty-four thousand seven hundred. Four hundred twenty-four thousand seven hundred. So, as usual, I would ask the council to take the bids under advisement so they can be reviewed by the planning director and whomever else would like to look at them. Is there said motion? I'll make the motion to table those bids pending review by legal and other associated interested parties. Second. Motion and second. Roll call when you're ready. Scott Oldham? Yes. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two resolutions on this evening. First is resolution 24 2024 to enlarge coverage of the public employee's retirement. Yes. So that is to expand our coverage to include the new position for the 
High Tech's Crime Unit Director. In order for him to be eligible for PERF, we have to expand our coverage for that. And I had sent the resolution to Darla to preview it before I submitted it to the council. Okay. Ms. Brown, is there any difficulty with them? No. And in fact, that's PERF's form. Okay. So. Questions from council? Questions from the public? And back to council. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 24-2024 to enlarge coverage in public employees' retirement. I'll second. Motion to second. Roll call, please. Scott Oldham? Yes. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Next is resolution 25-2024, an additional appropriation. Yes. So the police department asked me to ask for an additional $50,000 for overtime. We've currently used to date $48,173.61. The additional or the 2024 budget was $47,000. And where's the 50,000 coming from? The general. Bank. Okay. And how much of the overtime we've used is the reimbursable overtime? It's funneled back to us from grants. The OWO money comes out of a different fund. This is over actual overtime, not. So none of this is out of reimbursable overtime. Yes, sir. Expenditure. Okay, Marshall, you want to talk about no, this? With the Fourth of July parade, uh, and also we have coming up. Uh, <coughs> excuse my voice. Coming up, fall festival with uh, maybe a Christmas parade too coming up that uh, some of the local uh, businesses are trying to put together. So. Questions from council? I guess the question I have is that um, in the eclipse we kind of foresee, foresaw, did did we run in just more overtime and all that than we expected? Yes. Okay. And I would, actually was sure that this was not my figure. Forty-seven thousand is not my figure last last year for okay. this year. So. So yeah, the forty-seven thousand. We've already expended that, so you need fifty thousand to complete the year. Yes, sir. Town manager. Well, if we don't use it, it reverts back to the general. So okay. we had to pick a number, and mm -hmm. it's better not to come back again in November asking for more. Okay. Hopefully, we will not. Other questions from council? Anything from the public? Since this is an appropriation, and back to the council for action. I make a motion to approve resolution 25-2024 for additional appropriation. I'll second that motion. Whenever you're ready, roll call. Scott Oldham? Yes. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. There are no ordinances on first reading. The ordinance on second reading is again returned to ordinance 2024-14 to establish a redevelopment commission. As we discussed at the last meeting, um, council had asked me to add some language regarding the composition of the board. And so I had added some language, uh, which for the most part follows the Indiana code. There are some deviations. There's a five member board, as you're aware, plus a six member from this local school corporation that's a non-voting member. But uh, three members are to be appointed by the town council and have to meet the requirements of the Indiana Code. Specifically, they have to live within the uh, Redevelopment Commission area. They have to post a bond, and I think they have to be 18 years of age or older. The other two are appointed by the Town Council from the Town Council membership, neither of whom shall be the Town Council President. Um, the last part is not part of the Indiana Code. That was the Council's preference, as I understand. And um, I had included some language in there that, say, that says no member of the Redevelopment Commission shall be a current member of the Eltsville Plan Commission or the Eltsville Board of Zoning Appeals. Okay. Questions or discussion from council? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Wait, when we, if we approve this, does that automatically go to proving the TIF? No. No. This TIF's just a establishes. Different issue. Okay, make sure. This just establishes the commission. Okay. Yes. 
correct. So we still vote on the TIF, I guess. That would be later, yes. Okay. And apologies to the council. I had to put it separate because I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. So it's in the very back of the packet that you're holding in your hand. Okay. Yes. Okay, and again, I'm sorry, I'm back to council with further questions, comments, and or discussion. Carl, if this goes through tonight, what's the turnaround time that the first meeting needs to be held? Well, the, the meeting, um, once the council appoints the board, they have to meet within 30 days. How long do we have to appoint the board? Uh, there's no time limit. Okay. I would suggest, though, that um, at least one member of the council and uh, maybe sit down with Mike Farmer and me and meet with the town's financial advisor because they have sent us a contract for the establishment of a TIF district. So I suggest that we do that as soon as possible um, so that you can decide what you want to do with the TIF and what you want to do with this redevelopment commission. Okay. I will um, kind of bring up the fact uh, before we move forward on this that there's been some communication with the school corporation who of course by law has a non-voting membership to this board. Um, they are concerned about the potential financial impacts on the school corporation um, from what we do with TIFs or don't do with TIFs. I can understand some of their logic. I can understand some of their thought processes. Um, just to put that out there to the, to the council that we need to, while well, I think we need to move forward with this, we need to use some care and caution and work with the school corporation to minimize impacts and maximize benefits for everybody involved. So with that, I'll ask, is there any desire from the council, and again, having some one-on-one uh, -on -one discussions, is there any desire with the council to make the school corporation a voting member of the uh, RDC? No, nope. I'd be open to it, Scott. I, the, I don't think you can under the statute. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we had the op opportunity to make them a voting member. No, no, that's the Indiana Code says that they're a non-voting advisor. Okay, okay. well then so, that settles that. I'm sorry if I gave you that impression. But I, no. I think we all had that impression as did the school corporation, but that rectifies that. So it's totally fine because as more students move in, money follows the students. Again, there is some. Uh, there, there could be some potential impact, and I think that uh, potentially the school corporation, it would benefit all of us for us to meet with the school corporation uh, in a small ad hoc committee to kind of look at things and see where we're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, is there comments or questions from the public? And seeing none, we're back to the council. Is there action on this ordinance? I'll make a motion to approve ordinance 2024-14 to establish a redevelopment commission. Second. Motion and a second. When you're ready, on the roll. Scott Oldham? Yes. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. That motion passes. Is there an Envision Ellisville update? None for Mr. Rary. Move down now to new business, which is the potential hire of a new full-time police officer. Hard to believe this time last year, a year ago, we were sitting here uh, approving a new police officer for, for 2024. Uh, but we have done that. We've uh, interviewed uh, Matt Baker, who is a part time officer of ours. He comes to us from the hospital. He has 13 years of law enforcement service. And my request tonight is for you to change his status from part time to full time status. Questions, comments from the council? This is from the, because we approved uh, the funding for putting one in July, so this is following through with last year's budget, correct? Right. Right? Okay. Questions, comments from the council? Is there a motion from the council? I'll make a motion to approve the police department's new full-time hire as police officer, Matt Baker. I'll second. Motion and a second. Are you ready? Scott Oldham? Yes. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Congratulations. Thanks. 
Um, I came over from the hospital from IU Health um, as a night shift sergeant. Um, I'm excited to um, work with the town of Ellettsville and the people here. Um, they've been very welcoming since I started in January anyways. Um, it was a no-brainer. So thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Congrats. Thank you. Welcome on board. Oh, this back here, Emily. This is my wife, Emily. She'll, she'll stand, please. <laughs> um, we've been married since 2018. We have uh, two kids together, um, and she's one of my biggest supporters, awesome. the biggest supporter. So, yes. thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you. you much, guys. Congratulations. Okay, we'll move now to privilege of the floor. Anyone have any business for the council not part of the normal agenda? Thank you. All right. Good evening. My name is Jen Pearl, and I'm the president of the Bloomington Economic Development Corporation. I just came to thank you in person. Um, I wasn't able to attend the last meeting uh, where you were reviewing the MOU um, for support for the BEDC. Um, so I wanted to come in person and thank you um, for all of the partnership and all the support um, of the work that we've been doing together. Um, this last month alone, we've had a lot uh, that the BEDC has been doing with the town of Ellettsville. We had a stormwater ordinance uh, meeting last week. M Mike Farmer did a great job uh, representing the community. Uh, we've worked on projects together recently and many other things. So uh, we're just very grateful for your support. William Ellis, you're a member of our executive committee along with Michael, and um, it means a lot. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for the work you're doing. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, supervisor comments, beginning with the town manager. Yeah, uh, first thing I want to do is uh, talk about Chandler uh, putting on a farmer's market. I, if anybody couldn't buy there, it's crowded. Um, there's a lot of opportunity there, and I really appreciate them organizing the event. It's, it makes Saturday morning special on Ellisville, so I really appreciate Chandler's efforts on that. Uh, also, um, with your permission, I'll go ahead and send an email out and try to set up a meeting with uh, the school officials and uh, start that process. I think the first meeting will go a long way for everybody to be on the same page. So. I hope it does better than the last one. Had. It will. I'll be there. I think this will alleviate a lot of fears and a lot of uh, consternation. Yeah, I think they're kind of the same way we are. They just, um, we just need to be. Chief? Good, thank you. Fire Chief? Uh, the Ellisville Chamber of Commerce, along with the Ellisville Fire Department and the Red Cross, are sponsoring a smoke detector blitz for the Arrowhead subdivision and this will take place on August the 8th. Uh, they are looking for volunteers, so if anybody would like to assist, you can contact them through their Facebook page or call the fire department and we'll get it taken care of for you. Okay. Anything else? No. Yep. <clears throat> well, as we're all aware, June 25th, we had that pretty good storm. So within the policy of the town, everybody has 30 days to get their storm damage out onto the edges of the street for us to pick it up. So we're approaching that very quickly. And to give the residents an extra chance, I'm going to do another, basically another storm damage pickup for the first, uh, the first week in August when we do our brush pickup in August. So if the residents could get their damage out there still to the street, we'll get it picked up for them. Okay. Thank you very much. Anything with planning? Uh, Yes, last week I sent an email to all of you, hopefully you received it, about an OCRA grant program titled the Owner Occupied Rehabilitation Grant. I received the information by email and thought it'd be a good program for a town and talked to Mike Farmer and he agreed and said let's run it by council. Um, the goal of the grant is for communities to create a program for low moderate income residents to repair their primary residences. To be considered, they must demonstrate the following low to moderate income. The grant will have a significant impact. Um, community will demonstrate a commitment to it. The program's for 18 months. The <coughs> rehabilitation allowed is roof repair or replacement, ADA accessibility modifications, heating and cooling replacement, 
select lighting features and electrical upgrades and water heater replacement. Um, the most, the maximum amount we can spend on each repair is 25,000. The grant limits are 350,000, which would serve 14 people at 25,000 apiece. The town's match is 10% of whatever grant funds we receive. They said, depending on how many um, requests they get, they may lower the amounts of the grant requests. So um, I wanted to discuss it with you and see if you would approve for okay. us to do it. Questions from council? Do they apply with the town or is it a federal application that they apply? Um, they apply with the town. We have to use um, their OCRA's application and then we have to verify the Income. low income status. Right. And it's, I will say we will hire um, all the work to be done because town employees are really busy. So. Okay. Other questions from council? Actually, yes. Um, and this is only open to homeowners, correct? Or is it renters also? No, homeowners. Okay. Further questions from council? Questions from the public? And I don't think you need necessarily a motion from us, just a consensus, which bar an objection, I would say move forward with that. Okay. Thank you so much. If you find out you do need a Come motion, just, yeah. yep, let us know. Okay. Thank you. Anything from the clerk? No, sir. Okay. Any council comments? I just, I want to personally thank the fire department today. I had a, uh, my son's house burnt down and they were there quickly and they saved as much as they could and the way they handled him with care i tell you what i'm so proud of ellettsville right now thank you guys thank you other comments from council seeing none seeing no other business i will remind the public that 15 minutes after our adjournment which will be momentarily there will be a second special meeting regarding the budget we stand adjourned from this okay.